three, two, one. Hey,
night. Wes Miller comes up with a steal. He gets it to David Favorite for the layup. Heights goes up by four at this time, but the Panthers hit back-to-back -back threes. How about first? Jordan Coromettis gets the shooter's roll, his three, and puts O'Connor up by two. Then the Mules go to work on the inside. Ben Lammers with the basket and the foul. He led the Mules with 15. Alamo Heights pulls out the close one there. Tonight, our player of the game, number 21, Jordan Corbettis, hit shots all throughout the night, particularly hit a bunch of free throws down the stretch for the O'Connor Panthers. Coach, what did you see out of Jordan tonight? Well, Jordan does what he always does. You know, he is, he's, a, he's a shooter. He's a competitor. What he did tonight, uh, Brandeis made it tough on him. Jordan Brandeis made it tough on you, didn't they? They had Guerrero up in you a lot tonight. They had Starks on you. They had different guys. But what you did tonight that was so impressive, is late in the game you ran the cross screen for Ogan Fedemy then you came up off the double screen at the free throw line the three wasn't there you came off shot a mid-range jumper and you knocked it down coach Ulan had confidence to, to post, button hook you and post you up on 1-4 ISO for you on the left wing you went to the left block got to the free throw line hit two huge free throws late in the game you got fouled when they were pressing you you're up two you hit one of those free throws and we know you wanted both of them but you got one of them but the biggest play that Jordan Jordan might have made all night tonight. You said it when it happened was he took a charge on uh, Graham in the fourth quarter there. That could have been, we said at the time, this could be the play of the game, and it might have been for you. Now, now just kind of talk about all of those things. How does that make you feel to know that you guys are, are officially in the playoffs? Oh, it's awesome, man. It's, it's a big game in itself just by playing Brandeis, but uh, knowing that also the stakes that we got to the playoffs, it was, it was a big win for us. Now, one of the things that, that we talked about is, is the rivalry that you guys have with Brandeis. You, you're, you're pretty much a stone's throw away from each, camp, each other's campus. Uh, what does it mean to know that you guys not only were the only team that beat them in district play this year, but you beat them twice? Well, that says a lot. We have a really good district, and uh, knowing that we uh, beat them twice, it just shows that we were a bad matchup for them. So uh, just, we were just glad to get the win. Jordan, right there with 3.23 on the clock, we saw your matchups, and we know y'all were probably talking about switching screens and making sure that, you know, that they just don't get clean looks from three. We saw that you were matched up with Jared Thompson. What were you thinking? What if he would have been the guy to get the ball? You know, were you worried about fouling? Were you going to try to block the shot? Were you just wanting to get a hand? What was going through your mind? I just wanted to get a hand on him. Just, I, I kept fouling. Uh, he's, he's a good shooter. I just, my, my uh, mindset was just don't let him catch the ball. All right, thanks a lot, Jordan. Congratulations on your big win. Good luck in the playoffs. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. All right, guys. I'd like to thank you.